Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw Elmer Fudd. Let's get started in the center of our page with the nose. So from the middle, we're going to step over towards the left side. We're going to draw a curl that goes around and then back in. So start out here, we're going to go up, round out the side of the nose, and come down towards the bottom. Now as we get to the side, we just want to hook around the nostril, coming back in. From the top of the nose, we're going to move to the sides and draw on the top of the cheek. So from the left, we're going to curve up and then out. Let's line this up on the right side and do the same thing. Now from the outside of the cheek, we want to step in and curve the outside of the eye. We're going to go out, go up to the top, and then just hook that in. Let's go to the right side and go in the opposite direction, going around and then up towards the top. Now we're going to draw the inside of the eye. From the top of the eye, we're going to step down, curve in, round out the eye, and then pull that back out on top of the cheek. Now we're going to tuck two ovals in behind the inside of the eye for the pupil. Starting on the inside edge of the left eye, curve up, round the, out the eye, and then pull that down toward the top of the cheek. Line this up on the right, and do the same thing. Now we're going to fill the pupils in black. Now from the side of the nose, we're going to step out and draw two curves coming down and out for the inside edge of the cheek. So start on the left side, curve down and out, move over towards the right, curve down and then out. Now we're going to draw in the mouth. On the left side of the cheek, curve down underneath the nose and pull that back up on the right side. Now directly below the mouth, we're going to draw another curve, a shorter curve for the lower lip. Now we're going to move down and draw on the chin. On the left side, I'm going to curve down in the middle and then back up on the right. Now let's go back up and draw on the cheeks. From the edge of the eye, we're going to step out, round up the cheek, and I'm just going to pull that in behind the chin. Do the same thing on the right side. Curving around, rounding out the cheek, and then in behind the chin. Now I'm gonna go back to the left and draw on the top of the head. So from this cheek, we wanna bump out the side of the head, come up in the middle, I'm gonna bring this back down on the right, and then in on top of the cheek. Let's add in the ears. On the side of the head, we're gonna curve around, and then in behind the cheek. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. Now from the top of the cheek, I just want to draw a short curve going up and then out on both sides. Let's add in the brim of the hat. Directly above the left eye, I'm going to curve up and then back down on the right. Now I'm going to curl this around and then up towards the top of the head. I'm going to blend it to a curve going up on both sides. Now in the center, we're going to step up and draw another curve from left to right. Now let's add in the eyebrows. Directly above the left eye, we're going to curve out and then down along the side. Do the same thing on the right. We're going to continue working up with the hat. So start on the side of the head, I'm going to curve out. I'm just going to pull that in. Just line this up on the right side, curve out and then pull that back in. Now I'm going to go back to the left side. We're going to round out the side of the hat. Go out and up. Now from here we're going to curve across and then down. We're going to flop the hat over on the right side. Going up. I'm just going to pull that down a little bit lower on the right side. Now I'm going to curve this down and in behind this curve on the right side. Let's add the trim of the hat. Starting from this line, I'm going to curve out and back in. Do the same thing on the right side. Now back on the left side, I just want to follow the same curve of the hat going all the way up towards the top. We're going to step in on the right, curve across and then up. Now we're going to add the knot along the top of the head. Starting from the center, I'm going to curve out and up. Go back to the center and do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to curve out and then down towards the top of the hat. Now we just want to trace this out along the top and side. Right. 
Now that we complete the head, let's work our way down the body. We start underneath the chin, right in the middle. We start with a point. From this point, I'm gonna curve up and out towards the left. Go back to the center, we'll curve up and out towards the right. Now let's draw in the collar. From that bottom point, I'm gonna curve up and then back down on the left side. Do the same thing on the right. Now I'm gonna draw two short angle lines coming up and in. Now I'm gonna draw on the top of the collar. From the left side, I'm gonna curve up and then back down. Then again, we're gonna curve up and in behind the cheek. Now we're gonna step down and draw the side of the body. Underneath the collar on the left, we're gonna step down, curve out, and then in towards the hip. So line this up with the right side. Now let's close off the bottom. Starting on the left, we'll curve down, back up. We're going to draw on the lower part of the belt. Starting back on the left side, we're going to go a little bit lower in the middle and back up towards the hip on the right. Now from the hips, we're going to draw two short lines coming out and then down. Now we want to connect these two points with another curve, but we're going to leave a gap in the center. Curve down in the middle, step over, continue that curve up towards the right. Now from here, we want to come up and in towards the center point, like an upside down V. Now in the middle, we're going to step down, draw a curve from left to right, going up and back down. Now we're going to draw the inside edge of the leg, leaving a gap in the center, go to the left side, curve out and down towards the left heel, move over towards the right and do the same thing. Let's round out the bottom of the feet. From the heel, we'll curve down and then back up towards the toe. We'll do that on both sides. Now back on the left side, we're going to draw on the top of the foot. From the toe, we'll curve up. Now we're going to bend this back down. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curving up towards the top of the foot, and then down. Now from the end of this line, we're going to step up, curve down and up towards the inside of the leg. Now we're going to move back up and draw on the side of the leg. From this point, we're going to step in, curve out, round out the leg, and then pull that in towards the top of the foot. Now we're gonna move back up and draw the arms on the hip. So we start underneath the collar on the left. We're gonna go out towards the elbow and then pull that back into right about there. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing. Underneath the collar, we're gonna curve out, round up the arm and then pull that back in. Now from the bottom of the arm, I'm gonna curve up and in behind the body. Let's draw on the top of the forearm. From that same point, I'm gonna curve up and then out. Now I'm going to show the inside edge of the arm. So we step out, curve in behind the body. Now the last thing I'm going to do is fold the hand in behind the body. Start from the bottom of the cuff, curve down and in. We're going to leave a little gap on the inside. Now we're going to wrap the finger around. So halfway along this curve, we go out, round out the finger, come in behind the body. We'll do the same thing on the right side. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Elmer Fudd. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.